Now again, work a little bit deeper on your oblique here. Hands support your head, behind your head, I mean, shoulder far away from your ears and lift your hips up, lengthen your legs here. Inhale, hips down, exhale, lift and down. Keep breathing 10 times. Xin chào, xin chào. Welcome to Pilates with Hena and welcome to day 17 of the 30 minutes Pilates challenge. I know that many of you guys have been waiting so much for this cardio Pilates every week and me too. I'm so excited for this. So if you're ready, just throw on your mat and let's burn some calories and also some extra fat together. Alright, now let's start by allow yourself to come to own four position. So open your arms, shoulder apart and your legs hip width apart. Pull your belly button in, tuck your feet. Now put your shoulder far away from your ears, engage your core. Inhale and dip your shoulder down between your arms and lift it up. We're going to do it five more times here to warm up. So keep breathing. Four, three, belly button in, don't arch your back here. Lengthen your neck, look down to the mat and two, last one. Slowly tuck your feet here, eyes and elbows rotate to face each other and lift your knees up and down 10 times say with your own breath. So keep breathing. Make sure you lengthen your neck and always look down to the mat. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, very good, 2, and last one, lift. Now lengthen one leg, inhale. And again, lift your knees up and lengthen your opposite leg. Come back, bend and lift and bend and lengthen. Make sure your shoulder's still on top of your wrist here. So keep breathing. Inhale, five. Exhale, come back, four. You can make a fist to support your wrist if you need to. Or you can put your whole forearms down to the mat. Two. And last one. And slowly bend your knees. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth and to the other side here. So again, lengthen your opposite leg, engage your core. Make sure your hips stabilize and facing down to the mat here. Again, inhale and lift your knees up. Lengthen, come back and lift and bring it back. Engage your core and stabilize your torso here. Beautiful. Couple more times, stay with your own breath and keep breathing. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, come back and three two and last one slowly bend your knees come to try pose inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now from here i want you to allow yourself to put your forearms down to the mat engage your core and lengthen your legs come to forearm plank here open your legs here with the part now inhale and lift your hips all the way up exhale shift your weight to the front inhale lift exhale down belly button in and I want you to do it as quick as you can, but really listen to your body here. Shoulders on top of your knees. Inhale. And then shoulders on top of your elbows. And then lift. And down. Very good. Inhale down. Exhale, lift. Belly button all the way in to support your lower back. And five. Make sure you don't arch your back here. Four. Lengthen your neck and always look towards your fingers when you Bring your hips down and last one and slowly bend your knees come to try pose inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now from here i wanted to allow yourself to come to own four position again but this time make a fist so eyes and elbows rotate to face each other put your shoulder far away from your ears and lengthen your neck look down to the mat Inhale and slowly bring both knees up and then lengthen your legs to the back and bend your knees and lengthen and come back. Engage your core here. So keep breathing, belly button in. And I want you to do it as quick as you can. So really listen to your body. And a couple more times, stay with your own breath. Inhale and exhale. Very good. Make sure you engage your core and keep your back in neutral position. In three, two, and last one. 
and slowly bend your knees. Come to try pause, reach your hands all the way towards the front. Inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, now from here, I want you to allow yourself to lie all the way down on your stomach. So, make a pillow under your forehead. Keep your hips down to the mat, pull your belly button in. Now, when you inhale, push your shoulders down towards your hips and lift each leg up at the time. Now, activate your feet and start to beat your heels together as quick as you can in 10 counts. So, inhale and exhale. Make sure you pull your belly button in to support your lower back. Squeeze your booty muscles and don't have to bring your legs so high. Really listen to your body here. So, keep breathing. Shoulder far away from your ears, belly button in. Inhale. And exhale deeply. And five, four, three, two. Activate your feet. Squeeze your booty muscles, belly button in. Last one. Slowly bring your legs down. Shake your hips. Inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. All right. Now from here, I wanted to allow yourself to. Engage your core and put your shoulder far away from your ears now. Press both hips down to the mat, your whole legs down to the mat. I want you to really pull your belly button in. Inhale, lift your torso up and exhale, bring it down. So keep breathing, head up with your shoulders and come back. Belly button all the way in. And again, you don't have to really lift it, it's like really high. Really listen to your body, but I want you to use your core to lift it up. So keep breathing, inhale. And exhale. In five, four, three, two more times here with your own breath. And last one. And slowly bring it down, shake your hips. Inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. All right. So the next movement, I want you to inhale and lengthen your arms all the way along your body, but towards the heels. So. Palms facing down to the mat, try to reach a little bit more like someone pulling your hands towards your um, feet. Now inhale, I want you to contract your pelvic floor muscle and lift your legs up and bring it down at the same time. So inhale, lift, exhale down. And if you can, try to do it a little bit quicker. So keep breathing here. Make sure you pull your belly button all the way in to support your lower back. And you can always lower and even like bring your shoulders all the way down if you are a beginner. And just really want to listen to your body here and find what is best for you. So keep breathing. And six, five, belly button in. Three, two, and last one. Slowly bring your legs down. Shake your hips. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. All right. Now from here, I want you to bring your hands over your head. Lengthen your legs here. Inhale and slowly bring one arm and opposite leg up. Bring it down to the other side and bring it back. So a couple more times still with your own breath and keep breathing. Belly button in. Inhale, lift. Exhale down to the other side and come back. And six more times each side here with your own breath. Engage your core and make sure you always lengthen your arms and your leg and your neck. So look down to the mat. Belly button all the way in. Squeeze your booty muscles. Beautiful. And five. To the other side. Four. To the other side. Three. Quicker a little bit if you can. And two more times. Still with your own breath. Last one. To the other side. And slowly bring it down. Shake your hips. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply to your mouth. <sighs> All right. Now the next movement. I wanted to inhale and slowly lift one. Both arms and legs up at the same time. Now start to pumping your opposite arm and leg like we're swimming here. Make sure you lengthen your neck and always look down to the mat. Belly button in. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And six. Make sure you stabilize your hips here. Five. Four. Three. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. Activate your feet. Two. And last one slowly. Arms down, legs down, shake your hips. Inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. One more breath and exhale. And during the 
exercise you can always pause the video to take a little bit rest if you need to so again always listen to your body here now lengthen your arms up and legs up at the same time and then bring both arms and legs down and lift and down and belly button really in reach your hand towards the front and your legs all the way towards the back like someone pulling your arms and your legs to the opposite way so you really feel your body is lengthening here engage your core keep breathing don't have to lift so high really listen to your body and make sure you pull your belly button towards the spine to support your lower back and eight seven quicker a little bit if you can but make sure you engage your core that's the most important thing here and three two and last one and slowly bring your arms and legs down come to try pose open the knees wider inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth beautiful guys couple more breaths here if you need to inhale and exhale all right and when you're ready i want you to allow yourself to lie all the way down on your stomach again so this time inhale and slowly bring your arms to the side lift your arm just above the floor parallel to the floor now engage your core put your shoulder far away from your ears and try to reach your hands all the way towards the side really put your belly button in lift your chest up now inhale and exhale slowly bring your torso down exhale lift inhale down and exhale lift or you can reverse the breath if it's easier for you so really try and listen to your body now i wanted to try a little bit more challenge here by lifting both arms and legs up at the same time now this time inhale when you lift both arms and legs up so we're going to feel like it's engage your core and your whole body is working here keep breathing quicker a little bit so speed it up but really listen to your body and do the speed that challenge you the most but also not like overdoing it so keep breathing and five four three activate your feet really engage your core here i really want you to pull your belly button in and last one slowly bring your head down shoulders down inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and one more deep breath very good guys exhale all right now the next movement i wanted to inhale and make a pillow under your forehead again so shoulder far away from your ears and bend your knees keep the toes together now inhale and start to lift your legs up at the same time and come back inhale up exhale down engage your core as much as possible and as quick as you can so squeeze the thighs belly button in and six five four make sure you stabilize your torso you can see my hips bones stick down to the mat beautiful and three two and last one slowly bring your legs down lengthen your legs inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth beautiful now the next movement i wanted to inhale and allow yourself to lie all the way down on your back i want you to keep your back in neutral and arms along your body here bend your knees keep breathing lift one leg up to 90 degree activate your feet and arms down to the mat now reach your hand a little bit further from your shoulders keep your hips stabilized chin to chest tuck the tailbone forward and draw your hips all the way up and exhale bring it down a couple more times stay with your own breath keep breathing now as if you can try to speed it up and do it as quick as you can really engage your core and belly button in keep breathing six five four three two and last one the very last one slowly bring it down shut your hips inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and to the other side activate your feet here and press your opposite foot down to the mat so really keep your hips stabilized and neutral inhale lift and down and up and down now again keep breathing speed it up as quick as you can belly button in to support your lower back and five four squeeze in the thighs make sure every movement start from your hips so try to keep the same angle on your knee here 
and two. Last one. And slowly bring your hips down, bend your knees, bring your legs down. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, now the next movement, I want you to inhale and slowly keep your arms along your body still. Reach your hand towards your heels and bring both legs up to 90 degrees. Now inhale and exhale, bring one leg down and switch to the other side. So keep your back in neutral position here, speed it up with your legs, but don't change the angles on your knees here. So every movement start from your hips and keep breathing. Contract your pelvic floor muscle here. Like we're working or running. If you can speed it up a little bit more and really feel your core, also your whole hips here working. Keep breathing, squeezing your thighs and contract your pelvic floor muscle if you can. Your lower abs working here in five, four. Very good guys, keep breathing. Back in neutral, don't arch your back. Shoulder blades down to the mat. And two more times each side. Last one. And slowly bring your legs down. Shake your hips. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. All right. Now the next movement, I want you to inhale and slowly lift your leg up, activate your feet, open your arms to the side, really pull your belly button in. Now inhale and try to open your legs, come back, open, bring it back, speed it up a little bit if you can. So keep breathing as quick as you can, really listen to your body, but engage your core as much as possible. Press your whole shoulders down, stabilize your hips, press your hips down to the mat and really Lengthen your legs all the way up. If you bend your knees, I want you to try to keep the same angle on your knee. And every movement, again, start from your hips. So keep breathing, squeezing your thighs. Contract your pelvic floor muscle here in five, four, three, two. Last one, slowly bend your knees and hug your knee to your chest. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, now from here, I want you to allow yourself to hug one knee to chest, lengthen one leg to the front. You can lift your head off the mat and really pull your belly button in. Now, one fist distant from your chin to your chest here. So keep breathing. I want you to inhale and exhale, switch to the other side. Keep breathing here, single leg stretch. So belly button in, chest up a little bit higher to really feel your six back abs working here. And quicker. Speed it up, stabilize your hips. So if you cannot really stabilize your hips, I suggest you to do it a little bit slower and focus on your form, but really engage your core and belly button in here. So five, four, very good. Keep breathing guys, three, exhale, two, and last one. And slowly bring your head down, hug your knee to your chest, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. <sighs> All right, now from here, I want you to inhale and slowly lift your head up, hands support your head, open your elbows wider, and put your shoulder far away from your ears. Now one knee to chest, lengthen one leg to 45 degrees, now crisscross. So we try to lift your chest to your opposite knee, inhale, and exhale, reach, and to the other side. Engage your core and stabilize your hips here. So, a couple more times so with your own breath. Keep breathing, belly button in. Really lengthen your opposite leg towards the front. Let someone pull your leg away. And try to reach your chest a little bit higher. So you really feel your six back, your core, and your oblique here. Very good. Keep breathing. And six, five, Exhale, every time you switch, three, two, belly button all the way in. And last one, slowly bring it down. Hug your knee to your chest. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And again, inhale. And exhale. All right. Now the next movement, I wanted to do it very gentle movement after the crisscross, the challenging one. I wanted to inhale, bring your legs up to 90 degrees here. Now we're going to do it really slowly and get some um, 
Inhale deeply through your nose, bring one leg down and open your knee to the side, come back. So we need some time to refill, to ready for the new challenge after this. So keep breathing, really engage your core and really work our lower abs here, belly button in and then your thighs at the same time. So keep breathing, squeezing the thighs, contract your pelvic floor muscle here. Very good. Press your whole arms down to the mat. Open, come back, and to the other side. So make sure that you do it similar and balanced on both sides. Don't forget to open your knee and bring it back to the other side. And back to the center, squeezing the thighs. Very good. And five, four, close and lift. Same angle on your knees, 90 degree. Activate your feet here. And two more times each side here. Really engage your core. Back in neutral, don't arch your back. And last one, to the other side. And slowly bring it back up your knee to your chest. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. All right. Now from here, the next challenge, I wanted to inhale and slowly press your legs down. Lift your head up. Engage your core and use your hand to support. So open your elbows wider and engage, inhale and exhale. Try to reach your torso up and come back. Really engage your core here. Exhale, reach, inhale down and reach and down. And a couple more times, stay with your own breath. If you want more challenge here, you can always lift one leg up and to the other side. So keep breathing. Belly button all the way in. Very good. Now try to use your chest to lift, not your neck. So you're going to really feel your six pack here. So your shoulders leading the movement. Activate your feet here. Belly button in. Focus on your core. And three, two, and last one. To the other side. Slowly bring your head and your shoulders down. Really feel it right. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Commenting below if you feel like it's really working for you. I really love to hear from you guys. All right, now the next movement, I wanted to inhale and slowly bring your leg up and the other leg up tonight to the ceiling. Activate your feet here. Now inhale and I wanted to keep your arms along the body. Now arms up, just parallel to the floor. Activate your feet, in your core here. So make sure you try to lengthen your legs here. If you want to work your core more, you can move your legs a little bit further away or even all the way down here. So really listen to your body. Now engage your core back in neutral position. You can lift your head and your shoulder up. So we're gonna do the 100. Or you can make it easy by lift your legs all the way up to the ceiling here. But make sure that you keep one fist distant from your chin to your chest and lift your chest a little bit higher to really feel your core here. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Make it a little bit more challenging by lower your legs down to the mat. So keep breathing here. A couple more times with your own breath. Inhale. Exhale. And a couple more times. Stick your lower back down to the mat. Use your hand to support your head if you feel like your neck needs support. Otherwise, just lengthen your legs, lengthen your arms and pumping. So it's more about the breath here. You don't even have to pump your arms. You can just use your hands to stay here or stay down to the mat, whatever. But keep breathing. Don't hold your breath because it's really, really, really important. All right, very good. And three more breaths here with your own inhale. Exhale. Exhale. Last one. Exhale. And slowly bring your head and shoulders down. Have your knee to your chest. Inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Beautiful, guys. Inhale one more breath. Inhale. And exhale. All right, very good. Now I want you to allow yourself to bend your knees here, open your legs here with the pad and arms along your body, tuck the tailbone forward, chin to chest and draw your hips all the way up. Now keep your hips stabilized here and lift both heels up and down. So keep breathing, chin to chest here, belly button in. And 10, 9, 8, 
Nice squeeze in the thighs. Contract your pelvic floor muscle here. Seven. Six. Very good, guys. Press your whole shoulders down. Really squeeze in the thighs. And squeeze your booty muscles. And four. Three. Two. And last one, slowly draw your hips down each vertebra at a time. Shake your hips. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply. All right. Now from here, I want you to allow yourself to open your arms to the side. Keep your legs up to 90 degrees. And again, hips square. Activate your feet. Squeeze in the thighs. Bring both legs to one side. And come back to your opposite side. Make sure when you do this, I want you to press your shoulder blades down to the mat. So your opposite shoulders down to the mat and never lift it up. Really engage your core. Try to bring your legs as far as you can. This movement, I want you to do it really slowly to feel your core and your upper legs twisting here. So really good. Inhale. Exhale. Come back to the other side and back to the center. And three more times each side here with your own breath. Two, to your opposite side, and the last one, come back to the other side and slowly bring it back to the center, legs down, shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth, alright, now from here, I want you to allow yourself to lean on one side to do silent, engage your core, now forearms down to the mat, shoulders on top of your elbows here. You can bend one knee and then lengthen your top leg. So lift your arms parallel to the floor, inhale and exhale. Lift your hips as high as you can and come back, engage your core 10 times here with your own breath. So keep breathing. You can speed it up if you can. Really engage your core and do as many as you can. So keep breathing here. Really pull your belly button in. Seven, six. Five, four, and three more times here. Two, last one. And slowly bring your hands down. Now I want you to try to lengthen both legs and keep it next to each other. Open it hip width apart. Now engage your core, really pull your belly button in, shoulder far away from your ears and lift your hips as high as you can here. Now inhale and bring your hand all the way up to the ceiling. Exhale, lift your, bring your arm to the front and lift. Engage your core as much as possible. So, a couple more times here. Shoulders on top of your elbow. Belly button all the way in and contract your pelvic floor muscle here. And five, four, three, two. Last one, slowly bring it down. Now work a little bit more on your core here. So I want you to inhale and lift your hips as high as you can and start to bring your hand behind your head here. And start to bring your hips down and lift. Engage your core and keep breathing. Try to reach your hips as high as you can. Really belly button in. And six, five, four, three, two. And the last one, slowly bring your hips down. Slowly inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth and to the other side. So again, forearms down to the mat. You can bend your bottom knee, lengthen the top one, and shoulder on top of your elbow here. Really pull your belly button in. Now inhale and lift your hips as high as you can. Exhale, come back. Keep breathing here with your own breath. And a couple more times, see your belly button in. Keep breathing. Inhale, use the breath to control the movement. Exhale, come back. Reach and down. And five, four, three, Two, last one, slowly bring it down. Now from here, I want you to again lengthen your leg, one next to each other, open leg, hip width apart, and then lift your hips as high as you can, really pull your belly button in. Now lengthen your leg up, your arm up, and inhale, bring your arm to the front, exhale, come back. Couple more times here with your own breath. So inhale, exhale, lift, inhale down, exhale up. Slowly, or you can do it as quick as you can, really listen to your body. So belly button in, and five, four, three, two, press your forearm down, and last one slowly, bring your hips down. Now again, 
work a little bit deeper on your oblique here hands support your head behind your head i mean sure far away from your ears and lift your hips up lengthen your legs here inhale hips down exhale lift and down keep breathing 10 times eight seven belly button in five four three very good guys two and last one slowly allow yourself to lie all the way down on your stomach now inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and a couple more breaths here inhale and exhale and deep breath and exhale very good guys now from here i wanted to inhale and allow yourself to bring your hands all the way towards your head but this time we're not gonna do challenging but we're gonna do cool down a little bit before we complete so try to reach your hand all the way towards the front and then your leg all the way towards the back so it seems like we're not moving here but we actually feel like our body our arms and legs are lengthening here so keep breathing inhale and exhale and slowly bring your shoulders back slide back so shoulder far away from your ears now inhale and i want you to look up to the ceiling engage your core and hold it here for three two and one slowly bring it down chin to chest keep your shoulder at the same place we are really stretching your neck here and come back and right your spine belly button in and one more time and slowly change your dress and bring your neck back to neutral lengthen your neck here look to the top of the mat now i want you to inhale and do the same thing activate your feet dorsiflex with your feet here and slowly keep the same position of your whole torso here only move your leg up one leg up dorsiflex with your feet and now bend your knee pull your toe activate your feet plantar flex now try to open your knees wider if you can really slowly and listen to your body and then bring it back to the center inhale bring it to the side exhale come back to the center and slowly bring it down now to the other side again tuck the tailbone i mean tuck your foot here and lift your opposite leg as high as you can very good and slowly bend your knee pull your toe plantar flex and open your knees wider and come back knee to the side and bring it back to the center one more time inhale and exhale and slowly bring your legs down lengthen both legs shake your hips now lift both legs up keep your heels and your knees together here and reach your hand all the way towards the front inhale deeply to your nose belly button slightly in to support your lower back and exhale deeply to your mouth and now i want you to look to the front here slowly really slowly and listen to your body here and slowly bring your legs down come to try pose open your knees wider inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth walk your hand to your right and three two and one to your left and three two and one slowly back to the center and sit up cross your leg open your arms to the side engage your core lengthen your spine inhale and lean on one side to do side bending exhale come back to your opposite way and two more times each side here with your own breath to the other side and last one inhale exhale back to the other side and slowly back to the center hands on opposite knee rotate the torso and to the other side and slowly back to the center inhale deeply and exhale and that's the work up today thank you so much for joining me i hope that you guys already feel like more energy here and get ready for tomorrow so see you tomorrow have a good day bye